The DRDO has successfully tested the next-generation Akash surface-to-air missile from its integrated test facility, which comes with an improved reaction time, and is capable of engaging 10 targets at a higher range of 80 km. Top officials have said that all the mission objectives had been met, and the next-generation missile intercepted the electronic target as simulated. The two-stage new generation system has a cylindrical body with four crop delta fins at mid-body and four tail fins, and apart from the new propulsion system, it possesses an indigenous active RF seeker, laser proximity fuse, electromechanical actuation and pre-fragmented warhead. The chairman of Hindustan Aeronautics has said that the first stages Mark 1A fighter jet will be delivered to the Indian Air Force by March 2024, and 16 fighters will be rolled out every year till the completion of 83 stages Mark 1A fighters. He also said that a number of countries have shown keen interest in procurement of the Tejas light combat aircraft, and the company is looking to establish logistics bases in a number of countries, and the first export order is likely to come in the next couple of years, and the export order will be executed from the third production line at its NASIC aircraft division. The project director of twin-engine deck-based fighter program has said that currently the development agency is working with two different configurations for the twin-engine deck-based fighter, and both these configurations fully meet the Navy's requirements. The first configuration includes a delta wing configuration with closely coupled canards like the Rafil M fighter, while the second configuration is a trapezoidal wing configuration like the FA-18 Super Hornet fighter, and both the configuration will start low-speed wind tunnel tests very soon. He also added that all mission requirements have been taken into consideration in the design process, which includes takeoff capability from aircraft carriers in less than 200 meters. After the wind tunnel tests are over, the Aeronautical Development Agency will approach the Indian Navy and seek their view to freeze the configuration, and also fine-tune the requirements with the release of preliminary services qualitative requirements. India has started the process of delivering the Swati radar systems to Armenia, under the $40 million contract that was awarded in March 2020. The Antonov-124 strategic airlifter of the Russian Air Force had arrived in India on 22 January, and has left with the first radar system on its onward journey to Armenia on the same day. India will supply a total of four radar systems to Armenia, which will provide fast and accurate location of a wide variety of incoming enemy projectiles at a range of 50 kilometers. The Vice President of India visited DRDO's missile complex earlier today, where he inaugurated the Integrated Weapon System Design Center, and was also briefed about the various ongoing projects. A new strategic air-to-ground system was also displayed, that will be used to target enemy underground facilities as well as command centers and ammunition depots. The Indian Army has presented an upgraded version of the Shilka Mobile self-propelled anti-aircraft system, which was upgraded by Bharat Electronics Limited, under which a new 3D active phased array radar has been integrated, that offers more accurate identification and multiple target tracking at a range of 20 km even while operating in an electronic countermeasure environment, a new engine with a drastic reduction in fuel consumption, and a new CBRN protection system. It can now engage aerial and land targets at 2.5 km during both day and night and all weather conditions. A senior Indian Air Force officer has said that 12 C-130 Super Hercules would be upgraded with additional avionics package, and besides retrofitting the hardware processors, the work would also include integration of the automatic dependent surveillance broadcast system with the aircraft's existing navigation suite, which is a new generation highly accurate satellite-based aircraft real-time positioning and tracking system that will replace the current ground-based secondary surveillance radar network. 
with the completion of the construction of a 3,300 meter long airstrip. UP has become the first state in the country with two airstrips on expressways that will facilitate emergency takeoff and landing of all categories of aircraft including fighter jets. The Istanbul Naval Shipyard has held the official welding ceremony of the 3rd Milgem class corvette for Pakistan Navy, and reports indicate that the fourth ship will be entirely constructed in Pakistan. It will feature 16 vertical launch system equipped with Chinese LY-80 surface-to-air missiles, and it can detect and track up to 500 airborne and surface targets from a range of 250 kilometers. Oh, Mark, drop it.